all right what is up guys welcome back to another path of exile video here uh, made a couple updates to the build nothing uh, major but i did spend about 60 chaos to get a bunch of these tattoos so that i could get back about four four or five points from specking out of these nodes and what i use that to do is then um, spec out of the corrupted blood immunity here and got this jewel socket and then also specced into uh, golem's blood so overall a net positive gained you know three three hundred a little over 300 hp and we also gained quite a bit of attack speed and a little bit extra damage as well so right now what we're going to be doing is the polaric invitation um, currently level 92 and you know just another good checkpoint to kind of see how the build is doing um, taking on this boss I believe it's the black star um, it's been a while since I've done it so bear with me I, hopefully I don't totally like mess up the fight but also just kind of hoping that I can take him out fairly quickly okay <laughs> yeah that's kind of what I was hoping is that I could just kind of insta kill him uh, before he got the chance to do any of his uh, attacks or anything really so do 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 yep we're pursuing that dude uh, we're gonna take him out pretty pretty easy um, definitely a lot easier than on uh, my other builds that I've fought him on I've actually had to uh, you know deal with the mechanics and the fight lasted at least a minute or two um, that didn't even last I think 10 seconds not even sure if this is really like a full video <laughs> so so forgive me uh, if that went a little bit faster than expected um, let's go ahead and we'll just you know briefly look over the build once again um, if you haven't seen the previous videos so you just kind of have an idea what's going on what's happening here so we've got the Marohi Erki Mall which basically is the highest uh, you know pure physical damage weapon in terms of like hit damage um, super slow attack speed but we've been able to kind of mitigate that with a lot of increased attack speed so under one second attack time for my slam which feels good uh, pretty quick attack time on the leap slam which I mostly use to kill uh, trash with and then we've got you know the exerted attacks etc we've got immortal call which makes us kind of invincible for you know three or four seconds not not a hundred percent invincible but you know greatly increases our survivability with the chieftain class and this new change war cries have infinite power um, we can in instantly generate four endurance charges about every three and a half seconds so you know we can do that do this and as soon as immortal call is down we can recast it so just pretty good terms of survivability there I did just run a red map that was pretty uh, riptastic and died a few times so I may have to kind of look at how I can sort of increase some of my survivability or perhaps I just need to play a little bit more careful in the red maps um, but we, we will see um, I would like to get you know much closer to like the 6k HP um, realm and I think I can get there with you know a couple more levels because I do have access to about you know another easy uh, 20 let's see what is that 28% life um, like I can easily pick up another 40% increased um, HP nodes so that that should probably get me well on my way uh, I think about 16% increased life for my character at the moment results in about a 350 net gain so 40% should get us 
to over 5,000, and then, you know, from the, the little bit of HP base life you gain from leveling up, should be a little, little bit closer to that, uh, that desired goal. Um, if I really wanted to, I could... I mean, it'd probably cost me a ton of currency, but I could definitely upgrade some of this gear, but basically like the upgrades I'm looking at are going to cost me like for for the actual pieces of gear going to cost me multiple divines per slot. So that's going to be a little bit tricky. Um, I guess even if we get over the 5k, that'd be a little bit better position than than where we are at the moment. Um, I was also considering picking up, you know, a couple more of these basic jewel sockets that I have, you know, close proximity to and getting some plus maximum fire resistance because that will also uh, translate to all max resist for me. So I could easily get another plus four um, all resist basically from these points, these jewel sockets here, along with, you know, some other decent stats. I could pick up. Um, another plus one all resist from this mastery here, which that, you know, that'd give me another five. So that'd put me at 87%. If I could get to 90%, um, that would be, that would be ideal. I just don't know, um, if that's going to be possible. You know, I guess I have access to this other jewel socket here as well, but that would be one, two, three points, four, five points six seven eight points and um that's really that's really the, all the points i have remaining so unless i can either pick up jewel sockets that also have plus maximum life along with the plus all fire resist uh it's gonna be a little difficult to pull that off and those are gonna again be Probably costing multiple divines. Um, all in all, though, the build is still going going very strong. Um, as you can see, like bosses are not a problem for me. The only time where it really seems like I'm, and you know, I think the last map I was doing may have had some really heavy chaos damage, and that might have been what was killing me, was like crits and chaos damage. So. I'll continue to, you know, kind of monitor the build, but that was really like the first crazy, um, crazy modded red map that I've done on this character. And so I'll, I'll have to just kind of see how it handles, you know, more red maps. Um, if I can get some more chaos resistance, that would be nice as well. But again, it's going to be difficult to kind of get that, uh, just because. You know, like, there's a few pieces of gear I have that, you know, if I really wanted to, I could, like, exalt, slam them, and just see, you know, what I what I happen to get. Um, like, I could... I could exalt, slam, basically... Most most of the gear that I currently have um, you know like this this might be a good piece of gear for me to like craft um, prefixes cannot be altered and then just like chaos spam it and and see you know what what we're able to get we might be able to craft like a solid amount of um, So, I mean, <laughs> okay, maybe not. I didn't. I forgot that it costs divine orbs now. Um, so yeah, that may or may not be worth it uh, in in the near foreseeable future. It, I may be better off just like exalt slamming this because it only has uh, four currently four mods on it. Um, 
I'm not even sure what else it could roll. So, I mean, it could roll resists. Um, it could roll stats. So, it definitely may be worth it to exalt slam some of my current gear because, I mean, anything. Like, it's, it's not going to make the build any worse. Um, it, it, it may not give me, like, an immediate, uh, you know, it may not give me just a huge boost to stats to, to really buff my character. Um, and I'd have to probably spend a little bit more time looking at which gear that would give me the most uh, potential benefit from. Um, like, possibly... Possibly the amulet here um, could potentially roll, you know, something something fairly useful. We could get either stats or resistance. Um, the additional, you know, damage possibly. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's hard to really really know because a lot of these are like crafted only prefixes. So I think really the only thing that this might get me is like some extra stats and or possibly resists, which I don't particularly need at the moment. Um, other than like chaos resistance. So anyways, thanks for tuning in guys. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, subscribe if you want to see more um, of this build. And remember to give them the D.